Okay, somebody beats the odds, um, and so we have to hope for the best for Patrick. All right, Doctor, thank you very much. Kate, let's go over to you. Okay, Chris, thank you. To New Jersey now. The search for a 91-year-old rabbi ends with a tragic discovery. CBS2 City Shu is live in Jersey City with the very latest on this story. Cindy. Okay, just down the street in the Hackensack River, the body of Rabbi Zev Siegel was found inside his car. He disappeared yesterday after celebrating his son's 25th anniversary on the radio. Just yesterday morning, Rabbi Zev Siegel appeared on his son Nachum Siegel's radio show. And there wasn't a dry eye in the place as he spoke about the tremendous pride that uh, he had. He once told me, he said, somebody complimented him. He said, I'm at the age where they should compliment my children. It means a lot more to me than if they compliment me. Rabbi Siegel left the radio station about 8.15 yesterday morning and was headed to a school in Livingston just a few miles away to pick up his mail. He never made it there. Police searched from the ground and the sky and volunteers plastered the area with flyers. But shortly after 1 o'clock this afternoon, they found his car submerged in the Hackensack River under the Pulaski Skyway. Mr. Siegel may have believed he was on another street that would lead him to Route 7, which would lead him to the route he would normally take to Livingston, New Jersey. Rabbi Siegel was president of the Rabbinical Council of America for many years and taught his community and his family to be strong. My father has taught us that there's a, there's a, as long as we have faith in the Almighty, we will survive everything. And he's proof of that. Rabbi Siegel leaves behind his 83-year-old wife and 25 grandchildren. His latest great-grandchild was born yesterday in Israel. Live in Jersey City, I'm Cindy Shu in uh, CBS2 News. All right, Cindy, thank you to California Now. Opening statements began today for the